Yeah, good morning. Uh, years ago, I met a guy called Ben Lejermy. Uh Ben Lejermy, I was in Wanda with him, and he got done with a big arms deal uh, from Iraq. He had a big um, offices in the Dorchester Hotel. He had a floor of the Dorchester. He had offices and he had people who could come and stay who he was, who was willing and dealing with. Anyway, it was a big arms deal. He got nicked for it. He got put away for 22 years. So I was meeting some people in the Kensington Hotel, uh, the Hilton, yeah? So I was there. I was coming down the escalator to go out. He was coming up the escalator. So when I see him, I couldn't believe it. Hello, Ben. Hello, hey. That's how he talked. Very, very, very low, yeah? So me and him got to talk. Had a, bit, had a little orange drink, and he was drinking, and... And he said, look, you know, why don't you meet me one day? We go for some a meal. And I said, no, it's okay. Anyway, I met him, and he took me to the uh, the Cromwellian. So that all bring back memories, the Cromwellian, because this was the time that Johnny Bindon knocked me out on my ass outside the Cromwellian. So I'm talking to Ben, uh, uh, and, it, and it, there's a casino there in the Cromwellian, and a cl nightclub downstairs, casino upstairs. So... I'm downstairs, Ben's upstairs having a bet, having not the casino yet. So I want to go. So I go upstairs and see him. I'm talking to him and I'm talking to him about um, Bindon, the time Bindon put me on my arse outside of coming in. So he went, look, come on, we're going to go to another club. I said, where are we going to go to? He said, I'm going to take you to a club called the Les Ambassador. Uh, it's near uh, the Dorchester Hotel, but I'll take you there. I'll put you in. You can come in as a guest. I went, OK. And this Les Ambassador, you just can't walk even off the street, you know. You've got to go in there as a guest. Ben the Jeremy being, it was very high society, and his wife was uh, royalty in Iraq or Iran, you know. So he could just, he had, he had his own thing. He just walked in, signed me in, I'm in there. They didn't write me going in there because the tattoos on my hand, but I've got to say it, there was a lot of big guys in there that was more likely bodyguards for royalty or, or whoever's in there because there's a lot of royalty goes into that place, yeah? And he was telling me, it's crazy, isn't it? He was telling me, because uh, when I was talking about Binlan uh, knocked me out outside the Crom William, he was telling me about a story that happened in the Crom in the Les Ambassador, yeah, with Johnny Bindon, right? So it's it's a nutty story, mate. I tell you, he was in there, uh, Johnny Bindon, and he might have been in there with a member of the royal family. I don't know, but he was in there and he was having a good time. And he, as it is, as it happens, John always gets as it, as it gets as as a good drink, gets a bit drunk. So it started being silly. Uh, there's also a guy in there at that time. He was 28, 30 stone, a guy called Milton Reed. But his name that everybody knows him from was a guy called Spike. Years ago, I met Spike in Chiswick Swimming Pool, but he used to drive around this guy, Spike, in a pink convertible Cadillac. Massive. The guy had 28, 30 stone. Absolute giant bald head. I thought he was Russian, but he was Indian. Yeah? Massive guy. And me and him had a bit of a row on Chiswick Swimming Pool uh, when he kept looking at young, not young girls, girls my age, and, you know, looking at them and, and buying them, buying them drinks. And all. Anyway, I called him all sorts of names. And as he walked out, I hit him on the chin and it, uh, he broke my hand. And he could have killed me, but he just let it go. And he got in his car and he drove off. And then I also see him every now and again, driving around Chiswick and places like that in that convertible Cadillac. You know, uh, no shirt on, bald head, massive. People might, people in my comments might have even seen this guy, Milton Reed, and Spike, they call him. I think he's been in a James Bond film, something like that. Or a couple of James, but he usually plays a part as a bodyguard a bouncer, something like that, yeah? Big guy. Anyway, he was telling me uh, about it. He just said, look, he said, I'm in there, mate, and 
and it's Bindon, the guy you're talking about, it's only because of what you're talking about that I'm telling you what happened. Binder's in there having a drink. As I just said, he could have been in there with some of the royal, royal part of the royal family. She sometimes gets in there, yeah? So obviously, so she was in there meeting Binden, or Binden was in there meeting her. He happened to, you know, got an invite. He was just could walk into there, yeah? As Binden does, as Ben was telling me, as Binden does, he has a drink. He has a good drink, and he gets carried away. But if he's with a member of the royal family, he's got to be very careful because she's also got people in there looking after her. But it's all hush hush, isn't it? Because, you know, it's royal, she's royal family. He starts uh, getting a bit over the top having a drink, getting silly shouting about a bit, doing silly things at the bar, but he's got to be very careful because she's got um, bodyguards that, that are tooled up and all that, you know. Anyway, so it might not be her. She might not have been there, but I'm only surmising that she was there and that's why he was there. Otherwise, he'd never got in. Binnum would never got in there, mate. Anyway, he's in there and he's causing problems. But that, that Reed, uh, that Milton Reed, the, the big guy with a bald head, he's in there, yeah? So he he's in there with someone very uh, famous or whatever it must be to be in there in the first place, yeah? So Bindon starts being silly and he starts having a go at that Michael, at that uh, Reed, Milton Reed. But it might have been over a film set or they might have been working together, I don't know, right? But he started at that, that Milton Reed. Milton Reed's like an elephant, he's massive mate, he's huge, uh, he's a guy you wouldn't ever want to have a fight with, he would like to, and Milton Reed was an ex-wrestler, you know, so the guy can really have it, yeah. So Bindon shouting his mouth about at him, and don't stop. I reckon, he was telling me, it's only because I was talking about Bindon at, at the, the Cromwellian, when we had that little well, well, he's telling me, uh, Ben and Jimmy, about what happened with Milton Reed and Bindon. They reckon Milton Reed was like a wild elephant, right? He picked up Bindon as if he was nothing and run him through the Cromwellian, run him through the Cromwellian, like a nutcase, picks, it, picks him up and run him through there and chucked him out of the main doors onto the road at Mayfair. Bindon's got a bit leery, shouting his mouth about. The bodyguards, some bodyguards have come out and uh, Milton Reed and talking to him. Milton Reed's just turned around and Bindon has run at him, yeah? And grabbed him. This geese is massive, mate. It's like a table, you know, you can't put your hand, Bindon's run at him like a lunatic. Milton Reed, Spike, his name is, has picked up Bindon because he's a wrestler. He's not physically punched Bindon, not physically punched him. He just picked him up and threw him around as if he was nothing. They reckon he picked him up, well, Ben was telling me, they picked him up, right? He threw him at the wall and knocked his spark out. Bindon was knocked spark out and then bit Reed. And then Milton Reed walked into the Les and left it at that, yeah? But when Ben was telling me, and I went, wow, Ben, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I can't believe it that Bindon uh, even got involved with that, that sort of guy like that. Legeezus was a massive, massive man, man. And you could not win. You couldn't win this geezer. Even if you shot him, he'd be like, a, it'd be like an elephant. He'd keep coming forward and he wouldn't give in. You know what I mean? Anyway. This is uh, Bane Man Whale. Please press the like button and subscribe. So I've just like this. Um, I'm just going to go and have a workout, but I thought I'd do a quick uh, video before I go in there. And uh, take, have a nice day, yeah? Nice one.